Continuing coverage now, and we're following up on damaging hail, specifically data from the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, how fast it falls and the larger the hail, the faster it goes. Smaller hailstones that range from pea to quarter size, it can fall from anywhere from 9 to 25 miles an hour. Hail that ranges from quarter to golf ball size, can reach speeds up to 40 miles an hour now. These are typically the sizes found in our severe thunderstorms, and for those rare and massive hailstones bigger than four, four inches, possible they can reach a speed as fast as 100 miles an hour. Of course, size and speed of hail will dictate how serious the damage to our vehicles or buildings can be. And it can be a hassle to get hail damage fixed. And frankly, it can be a confusing claims process. Let's continue our coverage. Bree Grove spoke with experts to help us navigate all this. Yeah, hey there, a common mistake that people make after these hailstorms is that they're not contacting their insurance company right away. You're not going to want to wait to do that for two reasons. One is that they are going to be backlogged with calls, so that could prolong the process even further. But maybe more importantly, if your car is damaged again before the first claim is handled, the damage from the first event is considered pre-existing damage, and it may not be covered by your insurance company. Get an estimate, find out is the damage above my deductible, um, and if it is significantly above your deductible and you want to file a claim, then call your agent, file a claim. After you file a claim, your insurance company will send out an appraiser to assess the damage to your vehicle. You really should be present to ask any questions, advocate for those repairs you want, and be sure to ask about the deductible, which you will be responsible for paying. You're not going to see rate increases if it's weather related. Take clear photos of the damage for your records. Accepting a settlement check without fixing the damage, not a great idea either. Keep in mind that the initial estimate is typically well below the actual damages. Leaving the hail damage is one of the biggest mistakes that motorists make because that hail damage does significantly decrease the value of your vehicle. And finally, talk with several auto body shops before you make a choice. By law, you can choose any shop you want to handle your repairs. They should be clear on what your out-of-pocket expenses will be, how long the expected repair will take, and what guarantees they offer. Many retailers do sell things to protect the body of your vehicle, but in case you're in a pinch, you can always use the cardboard, the blankets, even pool noodles that will add some protection to your vehicle in these hailstorms. In Colorado Springs, I'm Bree Groves with News 5.